this morning we're going to be doing something that we have never done before. I don't even think I know anybody who's done this in Brisbane. This is exciting. Hey you guys, Phoebe here from Little Grey Box with Matt behind the camera. And today we are in Australia in sunny Queensland because we are exploring our beautiful hometown, Brisbane. Your heart is gonna find a way you travel well we're going to be sharing all of our experiences and travel tips over the next few days so make sure you subscribe and say hello in the comments below you guys queensland's capital city is home to around two and a half million people now brisbane has a thriving food arts and cultural scene and of course matt and i are biased we think it is the best city in the whole of Australia, you guys. But it is also the gateway to all of the amazing things that Queensland offers. You have got the Gold Coast to the south, Sunshine Coast to the north, out west you've got the gorgeous Darling Downs region, and of course it is going to be your gateway to the rest of far north and tropical Queensland as well. We are staying here at Ridges South Bank, you guys. Now South Bank is the perfect place to stay. You've got easy access to all of the cultural, art scenes. You've also got plenty of good restaurants, cafes and bars to choose from and the CBD is a short walk away to you guys. Now Matt and I are going to catch a show at Kingle Pack this evening so we thought we would come here to Soleil which is the poolside bar at Bridges South Bank. They have got amazing cocktails. I've gone for a cosmopolitan, Matt's got a gin and tonic and we've ordered some food from their delicious grazing menu too. I'm telling you everyone Brisbane's cultural and arts hub. This is the precinct for all of those kinds of experiences. And behind me you can see the Queensland Performing Arts Centre, which is also known as QPAC. And tonight Matt and I are going to see the Book of Mormon. That is something I've wanted to see for a really long time, so I'm really excited about it. But whether you're staycationing or coming from out of town, you know, if you come to South Bank and you want to stay at somewhere like Ridges, catch a show, it all just ties in perfectly. And with all that good food and wine in the neighborhood too, you guys, it is just the perfect combination. Now, South Bank was actually originally designed for World Expo 88. Matt, yes, he went to World Expo 88. I was a mere baby, so I didn't attend. But now it has been totally redeveloped. There's all these gardens. They have all kinds of activities, you know, free events and really fun things that you can do throughout the year. So make sure you jump on that Visit Brisbane website. They have some really good insight on there for you. But whether you're coming, you know, just for a holiday or you're staycationing, this is the spot for all of the best fun things to see, do and eat. So what I love about Brisbane and what you guys aren't quite feeling right now is the temperature. It is so beautiful and warm and this is what I love about Brisbane. I mean the weather, it is so perfect. It's a beautiful night. There's a gorgeous sunset happening over there. It's got a really community safe friendly feel to me and it's just such a welcoming place it's so livable so if you come here you really want to get outdoors you really want to enjoy the city see the lights have some drinks eat some good food this is the place to be you just got turn on my ups and out she's now I'm gonna walk in the blood I've been watching every time I'm watching your grace I get lost in it Yeah, so obviously there's not going to be any filming once the show gets started, but we are both so excited. Matt has no idea what this is about. Um, the set looks amazing. The Lyric Theatre is huge. We have amazing seats, dead centre. I've really been looking forward to this. You guys, that was so, so good. I don't really know what I was expecting from Book of Mormon, but it was so, so funny. So if you haven't really heard of it, it is based on the Mormon church and it was written by, I think, is it Trey Stone and Matt Stone and Trey? The guys behind South Park and all of that kind of stuff. So it was really, really, really funny. Matt was like, ah, what is this gonna be? And he had the best time too. We just had tears rolling down our cheeks. It was so much fun. 
it's just reminding me to kind of get out there and do things like that. I, I quite often don't think to do things like that and I need to start doing more of them because that was a real, real fun night for us. But you guys, I am absolutely exhausted. It is like three hours past my bedtime. So we're gonna go back to Ridges, get a really good night's sleep and get up in the morning and have a really fun day around Brisbane. <laughs> Good morning you guys, we are starting our day at Ridges South Bank, we're having breakfast at their Bacchus restaurant, they've got loads of great food up there, there's a pancake machine, there's a full honeycomb, barista made coffees, uh, yes thank you, let's give this a go. Last night, our room is so good. I can't wait to show you guys later. But what I like about it most is that it goes really, really dark. And it sounds weird, but if there's like any kind of light in the room, I can't sleep in there. And that room is pitch black, so I had a really good sleep. So enough of it. Matt and I were up early this morning crushing the gym. We're trying to get fit, aren't we? Yes, he's nodding. So, guys, we're gonna finish up this breakfast and I'm gonna head out and show you guys a bit more of Brisbane. So it's only taken us a couple of minutes to walk from the hotel down here to South Bank. Now it is a Saturday, you guys, so they are setting up the markets. These are gonna go all day and all night. So if you are visiting on a weekend, make sure you come and check them out. I would just say it is extremely hot. Brisbane weather is like a subtropical humid climate. So make sure you're drinking plenty of water. You wanna have sunscreen on, covered up, hats, rest, and really stay hydrated. It's gonna be your best friend. But like I said, if you are here on a weekend, make sure you come down and check out these markets. There's lots of handicrafts, lots of great food to try, and you've got all these good bars and restaurants around this place too. This area is known as Streets Beach and you would not believe how inviting that water looks right now. I am so hot. It is a really hot and humid day today. But you guys, this is the perfect spot to come for a swim. Um, both Matt and I have been coming here for years. When you're a little kid, you come here with your family, you swim all day, you know, you eat a great picnic lunch and then you go home all tuckered out. For visitors, this is a must visit spot because it's so unique. You've got Brisbane CBD in the background, the Brisbane River running along in front, and then of course this man-made beach. If you really want to get some great instagram -y pics, I would recommend coming at sunrise. Get here really, really early before anybody else does, and you should get it to yourself. And of course, I would just say, just keep in mind there are a lot of families here, so if you are taking photos and that kind of thing, just try and avoid all the little kids if you can. Floating between these timelines, waiting for these moments to end their time. Getting around Brisbane is really, really easy. Now, of course, you can use Uber and things like that. If you have the time, I would definitely recommend you hire some bikes and kind of ride along the foreshore here. It's especially lovely at night and you can stop for, you know, a nice refreshing drink along the way. But if you want to get around during the day free and easily, the City Hopper is a great option. It is a free little ferry service that runs and it will drop you off at different points between the CBD and different areas around Brisbane. So you could easily do a City Hopper crawl during the day or just use it to get from point A to point B. And it's such a great way to see Brisbane, to really get on that water, see it from a different angle and experience river life. Now what's great about this spot is that it wraps around the water. You can see the Story Bridge behind me and the CBD in the background. It is just gorgeous. Now ideally I would say you want to avoid the heat in the middle of the day and come here in the afternoon instead. We're going to get that really beautiful golden afternoon light. It'll be a bit more bustling, more ball, you know, kind of more drinks and there's some great food options down there too. There's a gelato shop, shawarma, tacos and of course you can eat and drink at spots like Felons which is where we are right now. You guys, this looks so good. Oh, 
If you're visiting from out of town, this is really a spot that you want to come and check out. If you're keen for some shopping and whatnot, they have got stores lining both sides, you guys. Everything you could ever need or want. There's some really cool older building facades, which are really nice. So it's heritage is to building shop fronts that they've retained and then built the stores in the back of. I love that kind of thing. After all that outdoor adventuring, Matt and I needed the chance to cool down, rest and recharge before our delicious dinner tonight. So we are back here at Ridges South Bank. Now this place has recently completed their $30 million all room upgrade. So the rooms here are pretty schmick and I thought I would give you a look at ours. The name of it, it is a King Sweet River View. There are so many names, so many words in that name. I think that's right. But I believe this is the best room type that they have and it is really, really generously sized. They have this extra seating area here. Personally, I've been using that area to do my makeup, but it's also just a really nice spot to sit if you had ordered room service. Behind me, they have the mini bar, of course. They also have a microwave, an espresso machine with the pod capsules. They have this great little kind of kitchenette area. This is something I really love to see in hotels personally. Now this area behind me to the left, this is fantastic. They have this huge L-shaped couch and a gigantic television. Come through into the boudoir. So they have this bedroom with another really big television mounted on the wall. The bed is a king size and it is very, very comfortable. And this room, you guys, it is really dark and it's very quiet. You know, you've got a kind of a major road across the river there. Um, when you're out on the balcony, you do hear some road noise, but as soon as you shut those windows, shut these doors, shut those curtains it is dark and quiet in here it is perfect we had the best sleep last night so in here this bathroom is really modern and everything's well designed and then this shower which is really great good water pressure and nice hot water and plenty of it which is really important as we all know so our balcony wraps all the way around and yesterday Matt and I were out here taking photos and some guy walked on that balcony and was so embarrassed but we have the balcony out here, so you can see all of West End and out beyond, out to... Is that Mount Cougar out there? Matt's nodding, yes, my Brisbane geography is right. So you can see all of this here, and then this balcony wraps all the way around behind me. It's pretty windy, you guys. Look at all of that. You don't even have to leave the room to see Brisbane. You can order off their in-room replenish menu. Just sit in there with some wine and food and enjoy yourself and feel like you are making the most of Brisbane without having to set foot outside. Today is not quite over just yet, you guys. We caught the sunset from our room and now we have come down to Bacchus to try their amazing degustation. Now they have your kind of classic option and then they also have a vegan vegetarian option, which is what I'm going to be doing. It says it's a um, four course, but I'm counting about eight on there. By the time they add all the breads and amuse bouche and there's like a bit of sorbet and petit fours on there, we are going to be stuffed. I've worn a baggy dress in preparation. For our Emma's Bruce, we've got the world's cutest taco, among some other tasty treats. I'm gonna eat this like a giant. Being here reminds me of the day I actually left my job. Not the day I quit, I mean the day I actually like walked out. This is it, I knew I was never coming back. Matt picked me up from work, we went home, we got all dressed up and went to our favorite restaurant in Brisbane and we just blew all this money on this incredible dinner. We just celebrated, it was so much fun. Entree, main, dessert, all the drinks and we were so happy and it was just such a really great moment for both of us and I'm so happy we celebrated that like that with a meal. Good morning you guys. Now look, Matt and I have lived in Brisbane for a very long time. We feel like we have seen and done it all, but today we are doing something we have never done before. This is something I don't even know anybody that has done this. We are doing a Sydney helicopter flight around the Brisbane CBD and I am so excited. I've not even so much as put a drone up around Brisbane. It's going to be so great to see the city that we love from a different angle. We're going to get in that chopper and we're going to go for a flight. My belt just came off. <laughs> Let's go. 
so beautiful that was an absolute highlight experience and i can't think of a better way to follow that up than with an in-room champagne breakfast a helicopter ride more who am i we have had so much fun showing you around brisbane now we've really only just scratched the surface and we only showed you a little bit of what brisbane has to offer including a little taste of south bank and through the cbd but there is so much more to our hometown and we would love to show you more so hopefully we get the chance to do that and if you ever come to brisbane i hope you have found these tips helpful when you're planning your trip now you guys that brings our video to a close i really hope you enjoyed watching it if you don't already be sure to subscribe right now so you never miss an episode and say hello in the comments below have a great weekend and i will see you with a brand new episode next week love you